Take a look around. Plants as far as the eye can see. There are many aspects of planting that may go unnoticed, such as the 2 million coconut shells that go into our growing medium, or the 100,000 bumblebees that pollinate all of our plants. What about the millions of good bugs that ward off our bad bugs? Most importantly, our 400 plus employees that make all the magic happen, our grow two people. I'm gonna introduce you to a few of them and show you the entire planting process. Hey guys, today we're hanging out in our phase four greenhouse. I'm with Isaac Braun here. Isaac, how are you doing today? Good, yourself? I'm doing very good. So there's a lot going on today. We're bringing in our new tomato plants in our uh, 15 acre phase four range. Yes, today we are planting all of uh, phase four's tomatoes, which uh, include uh, all the specialties, grapes, uh, heirlooms, beef, and TOVs. Lots of tomatoes. Sir. Lots of tomatoes. It's a cocktail of sorts. <laughs> it's, a, it's a buffet. Buffet, yes. <laughs> So these plants are pretty short. They're only about a, a foot tall. How, how old are these plants? These plants right now are, uh, like you say, right around 12 inches tall and uh, right around five weeks today five weeks. From, from the day of seeding. That's okay. correct. So when will they start producing? These, these plants should start producing right around the second week of March. So it will take from today being five weeks old, it will take another 11 to 12 weeks before they start uh, producing. Also weather depending. So we have 190,000 plants total in this range. How much, how much will these guys produce? In the, for instance, a TOV will produce, uh, once it's in full production, a bit, about a cluster a week, which uh, and every cluster has a, a total of five tomatoes on there. How tall will these guys grow? When they are at their final growing stage topped, they will be somewhere between 15 to 16 meters long. So around 50 feet. 50 feet tall. And do you treat a 50 foot tall plant differently as, as opposed to these baby plants right here? Well, yeah, you, you, you change your treatments as you go. As you can see right now, it's, it's a small plant. So nutrient wise and water wise, right now this plant is not consuming a lot of water. So we're giving it a minimal, enough water to survive and to establish itself. Mm -hmm. As it's growing, the plant gets bigger. So you increase, uh, you increase your nu nutrient level and also the amount of water you give it as well. Of course. At the early stages of a tomato plant's life, they all look very similar, but as we both know, there's a, a variety of different, different plants in this area. So how can you tell the difference between, say, a TOV plant and a cherry tomato plant? Well, a TOV plant has got a little bit of a bigger leaf. It's a fuller, fuller plant and a little thicker stem. Whereas a, a cherry tomato, it's a little more of a, it's got a skinnier leaf, uh, more stretched out and not a full body of a plant. Okay. Now that all of our tomato plants have been planted, we're moving on to bell peppers. Thousands of bell pepper plants are rolling in right now. In order to fill our 130 acres of greenhouses in Canada, during our 2017 planting campaign, we will plant over 1.6 million plants. New year, new plants. I'm now joined by a man that not only shares my passion for produce, but we also share a name. First and last. First and last, yes. It's definitely caused a lot of confusion around the office. <laughs> definitely has. Yeah. So what are you looking for in a healthy plant? Well, you look at the head of the plant, make sure that the it's got good strength in it. Um, Is there a particular color you're looking for? Yeah, it depends on what time of day as well. Uh, you don't want to have it too pale and also not too dark. You want to have a nice in between. So Isaac told me a bit about tomato plants, but I'm wondering what the difference between tomato plants and pepper plants are. So what's the, what's the difference between their environment? Tomato plants, you can grow more extreme, warmer days, cooler nights. Yep. Peppers is more in between. Okay. And what about picking schedule? Like how often do you pick a pepper plant as opposed to a tomato plant? Uh, pepper plant, you would pick uh, roughly twice a week. Tomatoes, three times a week. So you're picking a lot more. Does that mean more kilos? Yes, for sure. More yield? More yield over the course of the year. 
Okay, I bugged you for long enough, but I got one more question for you. How do I plant the plant? Well, that's simple. You just take the plant off the tray, make sure you place it nicely on the hole, and put these drippers in, not too close to the edge, because then it, the water will just roll off the sides, yep. also not too deep, then it will just go straight into the cocoa. You want to have it nicely, little ways in, so that the water will stay nicely in the block. Perfect. All right, let me give it a shot. So just take the dripper out here. Yep. So now we're moving on to our cucumbers. Today we're planting 204,000 long English cucumber plants and I'm catching up with my man Jake. Jake, how you doing? Good, how are you, Armin? I'm good. So Jake, how old are these cucumber plants? These cucumber plants are about uh, 24 days from seeding to uh, when we plant them and, and they're going to be there. Wow, and they're growing pretty tall already. Yep. So how long till these guys will start producing? These will probably take about four and a half weeks. Uh, in the winter time and in the summer time, it's usually about three, three, uh, three and a half uh, weeks. Wow. How long is the average long English cucumber growing season? It is uh, about uh, 19 to 20 weeks over here when we do the high wire. Of straight harvesting. And how often do you harvest them? Uh, we harvest them every single day. Every single day. Yeah. It's amazing. How many crops do you do a year? Uh, we do two crops a year. Uh, we usually plant uh, mid-January or so, and that will take us to about July. And then from, uh, and we plant again at the end of July to December. What allows you to have so many crops every year? Um, the cucumber plant grows really fast. It's quick, it's quick turnaround, and therefore it is uh, um, better to replant and have a fresh plant in uh, the middle of the year. Within your 19 week growing season, how many pounds of produce will one cucumber plant create? One uh, cucumber plant will probably produce about uh, 35 to 40 pounds um, of cucumbers. So that would be a nice growing season. So we've let our phase six crop mature a little bit just to show the other aspects of our planting process. So I'm now joined by our lead grower at phase six, Matt McCrick. Matt, how are you doing today? Good, Herman, how are you? I'm doing good. So Matt, how many acres of greenhouses are you responsible for? I'm responsible for 30 acres here at phase six. And, and what are these plants we're looking at here? These are uh, bell pepper plants. Bell pepper plants. And how many, how old are these plants? These plants here, um, they've been in our greenhouse, our facility for uh, just over a month. Um, from seed, these are about two and a half months old. Okay. How many inches do these guys grow within a week? Uh, variety specific, but uh, on average they grow from anywhere from three to five inches a week. And they're, they're growing pretty good as you, as you can see here. Fresh new growth at the top, looking good. It's now been a month that these plants have, have been in your greenhouse and they've grown probably about a, a foot from what it seems. So what's the next step? For these guys? Well for the next step the way they're progressing now um, by nature a pepper plant is a multi-stemmed plant um, so they always want to grow shoots and at each node there's a new pepper and a new shoot. What we want to do is ensure that we're only growing two stems so one of the jobs our workers do is we come and prune so you can see there's this is the head of the plant. That's the main head? That's the main head and this is the sucker or side shoot. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to prune that Take it right off. Take it right off, always ensuring you have a little bit of a, a stump. Yep. And what that does is put power towards the head and continues to grow on the two stem system. And then what's, what's the next step after pruning? After pruning, um, it's about every 10 to 14 days. In order to support the plants, we have twine and they, the workers come and they wind the plants loosely around. Just to kind of give them a path to grow. Just to give them a path to grow. Well, that's a wrap. All of our plants have made their way home and now it's a waiting game. All these plants will start producing in the very near future and I'm sure we'll be checking in on them. For more information about how we grow, visit naturefresh.ca. Thanks for watching everyone.